The first family's cats and dogs get plenty of attention, too. I have never seen a White House pet that I didn't like. The Fords had a golden retriever named Liberty, and they made the puppies available to the staff. My fellow Americans, thank you for joining Nancy. The Reagans had Rex, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, named after the former chief usher of the White House, Rex Scouton. Millie and Ranger were the Bush's beloved Springer Spaniels. Ronald Reagan used to feed the squirrels, <laughs> and uh, our dogs like to chase squirrels. And so when he left the White House, he put a sign right outside the Oval Office and said, beware of the dogs to, for the squirrels, you see. You. And they would go across the, the White House lawn, both R Ranger and, and uh, Millie, and they'd get huge count on these squirrels. They'd do them in, and it was wonderful. We were applauding them. You'd see Mrs. Bush out walking on the grounds, which she did often, and then you'd see Millie right behind her or right in front of her. Well, Millie was wonderful, you know, when she had her puppies there at the White House up on the second floor. We built a special uh, box for her, and she had all her puppies right there. Uh, it was just spectacular. Everybody was so excited. Barney and Mrs. Beasley became a part of the residence family, too. And Barney, uh, Barney loved my shoes at the White House. Every time, if I would be in the elevator among 10 people, 15 people, and Barney comes in, blah, 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 go between the people's legs to come to my shoes. Because he find on my shoes chocolate, sugar, flour, butter. You should have seen him licking my, I had the cleanest shoes in the White House with Barney. <laughs> 